Hi, I'm Hato and next up with me is Marcus, the co-founder of Lux On You, luxury handbags. Um, Lux On You is a company focused on distributing luxury handbags. Um, so in his whole entrepreneurial spiel, uh, Marcus was once invited to speak at a university graduation ceremony. Um, and at that point in time, he was pretty, pretty inspired to then become an entrepreneurship lecturer. Uh, ever since, he's been teaching students on how to run real businesses and has since launched his own program called How to Start a Business with Only Ringgit 199. Uh, that was in September 2015, about nine months later, he set up another and launched another program called Zero Budget Facebook Marketing, uh, June 2016. Next year is going to be a big year for Marcus. Next year, Marcus yes. is going to launch his book uh, on how to start a business with only 199 ringgit. Thank you so much, Marcus, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Uh, Marcus, so today's topic is going to be on how to do Facebook marketing at zero cost or mm -hmm. with zero budget. Mm -hmm. What is Facebook marketing and what is not Facebook marketing? Facebook marketing is an activity where you create content and you generate a potential business mm -hmm. through marketing. So it's called Facebook marketing because it's not direct. It's not like a sales. Right. So why is it called zero budget? That's simply because we are using your Facebook account. I mean, most people, the first thought that comes to mind is to use the Facebook pages. But we know that today, if you're not ready to spend a cent, you are not going to get the results that you want. Yeah. So I always ask people, why do you spend before you use free methods, which That's is true. your personal account, and most likely you receive your biggest clients from your friends who are also your Facebook friends. Well, hopefully, la, hopefully, right? <laughs> hopefully. I love the distinguish that you make uh, between marketing and sales. So it's mm -hmm. called Facebook marketing, not Facebook sales. So Correct. to all our friends out there who are using Facebook Messenger to sell things uh -huh. online, stop doing that. <laughs> Um, so Facebook marketing, I guess, you know, Facebook in general is more a social portal, yes. yeah? So what industries does it work for with regards mm -hmm. to marketing? What industries does it really not work for? It works really well for industries where you have a physical product, where mm -hmm. it's very visual, mm -hmm. because um, we go onto Facebook to get information, to get entertained, to look for fun stuff. Yeah. And for example, if you are doing fashion, food and travel, and maybe even properties, it would work uh, pretty well because you can see. Yep. And everyone needs this kind of products and services That's all right. the time. That's right. Uh, industries that may find it slightly more challenging are those that are delivering services that are intangible. Mm. So you have to talk about it a little bit more because you can show a photo of a service. Yeah. What yeah. about our industry, which is really about training and consulting? Uh, mm -hmm. Does that work on Facebook or is that better yes. on LinkedIn? Um, it works on Facebook and LinkedIn, but um, I mean, I ask a lot of people, we all know that when you're on LinkedIn, everything is polished. Very everything polished. Everything is professional. Very but professional. If you are a hiring <laughs> manager, would you want to check out your potential candidate on Facebook? Surely, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that you want to see what is your potential candidate doing on weekends. Yeah. Who does he or she mix with? So it's really um, good to have both. But yeah. I would say Facebook would probably be more authentic because it's uncensored. Yeah, and I like yeah. how when we were talking earlier, you are talking about how Facebook could be a little bit more accurate as well yes. about yes. who you are. Uh, so if you yes. haven't been updating your Facebook account, then mm -hmm. you know there is something really wrong with you. You don't want to miss opportunities. You don't want to miss opportunities, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's interesting, but obviously there's nothing wrong with you if you don't update <laughs> your account, okay? Because I don't tend to update it as frequently as I would like as well. So. Mm -hmm. um, how do, you, how do you understand or how does one utilize Facebook marketing at zero cost mm -hmm. most effectively? So what mm -hmm. are the key things that we'll be doing to fully utilize mm -hmm. this technology or space? Okay, imagine we go to a lot of networking events. We meet people all the time. We do. Yeah, so if today I meet you and I'm going to pass you my business card and you're going to pass me your business card and then what's next? Most people would probably end up doing nothing, That's which right. is a waste of networking time. Yes. Or some would end up selling you something, which is <laughs> a turn off. Absolute turn off. So what I recommend uh, we do is that you add each other on Facebook, uh, assuming that the conversation went smoothly and you're happy to add this person. <laughs> and you have a chance to actually show your content related to your business. And I have a chance to actually um, read more about you and find out more about you. And right. then we have uh, 
many common friends perhaps and yeah. it actually expedite the uh, relationship because when we see that we have common friends the trust level actually goes up much quicker mm. and you have a chance to actually keep in touch closely mm. because if I post some content it's not me that is sending to you yeah it's actually Facebook that chooses to share my content with you and you accidentally saw it and if you see my content enough you remember me hopefully like me and eventually trust me that you will send me potential customers. Right. So in, in a way, it is something that could happen organically, yes. but it's also something that you can position quite strategically. Yes. Yeah, interesting. So yes. how you know if a person has, or a business or service has done really well with regards to mm -hmm. Facebook marketing, mm -hmm. um, what are the criteria to see that you're doing really well in that space? Um, sometimes it's, uh, most of the time, sorry, is to look at the engagement rates. So mm. if you see that some person has a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a lot of shares, you are prone to believe that this person is doing really well. Yeah. Sometimes there's no direct business, but it doesn't matter because it's marketing, right? Just like in a lot of uh, restaurants, when you look at the photo, wow, it looks so delicious. But <laughs> when you purchase, it comes, wow, it's so tiny. <laughs> so that's about marketing. The story is told. Yeah. Of course, uh, when we deliver the product and services, we have to match the kind of promise that they see on Facebook. Yeah. So is it the likes, is it the comments, or is it the shares? Which one do you think is the ultimate indicator of whether or not you've mm -hmm. truly engaged? Um, all three considers uh, 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 engagements. Right. It, it doesn't really matter which one, but the shares are the most powerful one because right. it's harder to get up. shares. Right. I mean, if you have a photo and you get likes, it's easier to get. And mm -hmm. comments, sometimes you get positive comments. Mm. Sometimes you get negative comments. That's true. And when you have negative comments, that's how you also manage the, uh, the, the, the person posting. Right. So it, it's personal branding, yeah. how you manage these kind of situations. Yeah. How do you how do you build a relationship mm -hmm. strong enough with the online mm -hmm. community that they would be mm -hmm. eager to share? Because mm -hmm. like you say, sharing is the most difficult. Yes. It means that I endorse you and I'm willing to put this out in the market as well. Yes. So how do you basically get somebody to uh -huh. like what you're doing so much, or believe so much in who you are, what you're mm -hmm. talking about, mm -hmm. that they're willing to share? Uh, four words. Four words. Let's go. It starts with me. It starts with me. Yes. And what does that look like? So that means if I wanted you to share my content, yeah. I could have shared yours right. first. Right. But of course, I have to be very sincere, not sharing in the hope that you will share my content. Right. So weekly or almost daily, I'm sharing content about um, things that are related to what I do, mm. especially friends that I really, really like and support. Yeah. Yeah, so I've just shared... Uh, before this interview, a photo of us in Next Up Asia. Yay! So that's what I really enjoy doing because I'm happy to be here. It's, right. it's authentic and I don't right. expect anything in return because right. the moment you expect something in return, yeah. it's considered, um, it's not so genuine anymore. Right. You, have, you have an agenda. Right. So it's not going to give you the kind of result that you hope for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's very interesting. I guess it's a lot of life and relationship principles yes. in, in the real world that you apply yes in the online world. Yes, yes. Yeah, very, very interesting. And it seems like it's a very long run. Yes. So if you're doing this, it has to be something very authentic. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, and, and really not, not so much a strategy, but something that you truly believe in. Correct. Yeah, very difficult. So, you know, Marcus has been great. Uh, mm -hmm. We were chatting yesterday and I asked Marcus to just go through our Next Up Asia page mm -hmm. um, and really, you know, as a consultant to us, um, a, a, a friendly <laughs> consultant to us, uh, what are things that we've done wrong? What are things that we've done right? And mm -hmm. what, we, what we can do better? Now, this obviously isn't just about Next Up Asia. This is mm -hmm. also about diagnosing where you are going right, where you're going wrong. Mm -hmm. So we're at Next Up Asia willing to take this harsh feedback. Marcus, mm -hmm. please give us some harsh feedback. What can we do better? Or oh, let's start with what we did well. Yes, That'll be a yes, little yes. bit better, okay? <laughs> yes. What I really like is that uh, the layout is really professional. Okay. You have a lot of nice videos and photographs that are sharp and clear, and you have a lot of uh, personalities on your website, right. uh, on your Facebook page. Yeah. And of course, when I go like your page, I see many of my common friends. Yeah. So the trust level instantly just went really high. Yeah. Yeah. How did you feel when we called your next up? Were you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was okay. like, oh yes, let's do it. That's great. Yeah. And so what can we do better so that we continue uh -huh. to get people excited to come and uh, interview with uh -huh. us? Um, you can do So, by the way, yeah, there was like three positive feedback. He's got ten feedback <laughs> for development. Let's go. <laughs> uh, tiny ones. Um, okay. All the small actions that make the big differences. So true. Let's go. 
For example, um, when you have guests coming, you can make an effort to actually add them as friends and tag them on their Facebook account mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and pages so right. too. So the person and also his or her company. Business page, yeah. Yeah, business page. Okay. Because by doing this, few things happen. This person will feel that, wow, okay, you are in that mean because you have audience, right? Right. And they can actually click on my Facebook page mm -hmm. and go to my Facebook page mm -hmm. to leverage on some traffic. Absolutely, yeah. And the other thing is also it's two ways. Yes. So when you tag me and when I let it appear on my personal timeline, right. my friends will also see me. Yes. And they'll be very curious. Oh, what's this Next Up Asia if they haven't heard of right. Next Up Asia? Right. So it's actually win-win. Yeah, that's and true. Yeah, and yeah. Then when, when the video goes up, then the person is also happy that, oh, it's up. Yeah. 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 So, so what else can we do better? I think there were uh -huh. quite a few other things which are really good pointers, you know. Such uh -huh. small little things but can go a long way. Uh -huh. I think another one was to also check in to the venue itself. Yes, yeah. yes. Why do you want to check in? Um, actually, you don't check in to tell the world where you are. You, you do that while you, you could. But another point is that when you check into a venue, your friends who came after you have a chance to actually engage with you. For yeah. example, let's say to Bali. If I check in in Bali and you are going right. there, you'll be like, Hey, Marcus, how was your trip to yes, Bali? That's correct. So there's a chance for us to strike a conversation which is non-business, yep. but the chance to actually build the relationship. Wonderful. Yeah. And what else could we have done better? Maybe at least three more things because there were like <laughs> 20 that you told us. I'm joking. Okay, three more things that we could do better. Okay, another one is actually on the likes. So I noticed that you have about 3,000 plus likes on your page and you want to make sure that your post likes are at least consistent. So you don't have to have hundreds of likes or comments, but you need to have at least more than 10 mm. because you, you want to show that you are active online. Right. In fact, I know Next Up Asia is so much stronger than what the Facebook page is portraying. So you can bring up your Facebook page so that it reflects your true strength. Right. Because you have so many uh, amazing people in the team. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We do have a lot of amazing people in the yes. team. Um, I also liked what you did when you came here on the set. Um, mm -hmm. I think this guy really takes it seriously and I absolutely love it. What is it that you told me when you came on uh, mm -hmm. to this set? Mm -hmm. What were the things that you were talking about that we should do pretty much straight away? Ah, okay. Yeah. For any event, you have at least three opportunities to maximize your exposure and visibility. So it's before the event. Mm -hmm. So what I did just now was behind the scene, um, showing that I'm being prepared for the interview. That's right, he's suiting up. Yes, yes, and I try to get no, nobody to look at the camera, so yeah. it's a very candid shot. Right. Because most of us are not models, right? When we look at the <laughs> camera, we tend to pose, and then it becomes a little bit more stiff. Oh, uh, you look like a model, though. You do, you do look <laughs> oh, like a model. You. Yeah. And so then there's one in, in between as well. And, and then um, during means not, not like now, now, because mm -hmm. we are live, yeah. um, just immediately after that, Right. then you can actually summarize. Like, you have been doing it, actually, I saw. It's yeah. very good where you have highlighted the key points, takeaway right. points. That's right. It's very effortful, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not easy, but it's, but it's important. Yes. yes. Yeah. And the third one is, um, once the video is up, when it's published, then you can actually post again. So mm -hmm. you have three opportunities, but mm -hmm. as long as the uh, postings are not too close to each other, yeah. so it won't as if, oh, it's Marcus again, Marcus again, Marcus again. Yeah, so you spread it out, yeah. spread it out a little bit, yeah. Correct. I think what you're talking about is really critical because when we had, um, you know, I overheard one of the top marketing mm -hmm. uh, gurus in Malaysia saying that it's mm -hmm. not about marketing, it's how you mm -hmm. maximize the content that you're using yes. in your marketing. Um, yeah, and I think, I think you're absolutely right. There are a lot of missed opportunities that we should really mm -hmm. embark on. Uh, what is your advice to our friends out there who really have products and services that mm -hmm. they want to maximize um, uh, exposure to it that we have not covered. So any last mm -hmm. words to our friends out there? Yes, if you are selling products and services, always look at the uh, post from a mirror view. Yeah. So if you don't like someone pushing products to you, so don't do that to people. If you like someone sharing useful, valuable, interactive content with you, do that. Yeah. So it's quite like simple in, yeah, in do unto sense. others what you what, what you want others to do unto you something yes, like that but yes. that's always the most difficult part yes. and for that if you want to get in touch with marcus he's just going to share with you some mm -hmm. details so that you can connect going forward marcus mm -hmm. how can our friends connect with you sure there are a few ways of course you can go to my facebook page which is uh, marcus Tio my my from malaysia my and uh, I have this practice where I would add you as a friend, but uh, I would need to at least meet you in person first. Oh. Yeah, because you don't want to add strangers. So yes. typically, I would at least meet you at least once right. to know who you are and at least you know who I am. Yeah. Then we can connect on Facebook. 
Otherwise, you can always email me at Marcus, M-A-R-C-U-S, Elias at swarm199, S-W-O-R-M, 199.com. It yep. stands for start with only RM199. So ah, nice. Well done. Thank you so much for being with us uh, today, mm -hmm. Marcus, and wishing you all the best in putting your book together for next year. Thank you so much, Shadow. It's a pleasure and it's really an uh, honor and uh, having this opportunity here. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much again, Marcus. See you. Okay, see you.